Good evening, everyone. And Nancy, hello. Good evening, teacher. Miss Carmen, we didn't see you yesterday. Yes, my apologies, but I went to the hospital by my mother-in-law, so I, I okay. stayed there all okay. night. Yes. So, but she's better now. Yes, yes. Right. She is waiting for a result. Yes. All right. Okay. But she is out there. The she's, she's out of the hospital already. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, Miss Anayansi. So as you can see, it's not only women power right now. Uh, we have Mr. Sevillano in there. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. Are you still at work, sir? Are yeah. you still working? It's okay. my day, two, night. All right. Okay. Nice to see you. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Are you better now? From... Um, I'm still the same. You're still the same over there? Yeah. Okay. All right. I go tomorrow to your practice, doctor. Okay. All right. So he, he or she is going to uh, evaluate like your condition tomorrow. La va a evaluar mañana. Yeah. All right. To see if there's, I don't know, some some progress, some improvement. Say mejora. Yes. So you are staying only for one hour uh, tonight as well. Se va a quedar. Uh, voy, a voy a tratar de estar las dos horas, pero no sé okay. si aguante. Sí. Okay. Bien sedada, ¿verdad? Pero. <laughs> sí. Me acaban de inyectar. Oh, okay. All right, so I hope you get better. All right, I hope you get better and that you have a, a good uh, good appointment tomorrow. All right. Let me see you. Um, all right, that's what's it. All right, so let's begin with this then. So uh, I'm sharing the screen over here and then we take it from there. Before anything happens, uh, let's do a review of what we did yesterday. So basically yesterday we introduced the topics. Um, I also share with you uh, after the class, the 101 session um, dates, all right, in there. That's the, the dates and everything. So the schedule, like the program, like, like the chronogram, I would say. And I also shared uh, last night class, all right? We covered vocabulary about this, okay? We covered this. Uh, so in case, uh, Ms. Carmen, you want to do it, just let me know, please, and I can share this with you uh, tonight, all right? And then I also talked about the uh, difference between count and non-count nouns, but we didn't have the chance to practice that much. And if you check the chat on WhatsApp, you are going to see um, that the last thing we did in this class was to write two examples, one using a count noun sentence and the other one using a non-count noun, noun, count noun. Okay, that's what you have, all right? So take a look at the chat, what we did last night, please, all right? Let me just one second, let me, let me give access to uh, Mr. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Flor, you shared the access to the class over there, all right? So what I'm saying, everyone, is that uh, for this class, we're going to practice uh, exercises about count versus non-count nouns in order to understand the difference and to learn how to use count versus non-count nouns, right? 
Hold on. Voy a compartir el, el enlace de acceso que me lo están pidiendo por acá. Permítanme. One second over here. All right, so just one moment. All right, so let me ask you, can somebody share the, the uh, link to access uh, to this class in the chat? Can somebody share it over there, please? All right, so I guess Flor did it already. Están pidiendo el acceso a la clase, ya lo compartió Flor. So thank you very much. Also, what I'm saying is that uh, in this class, we're going to practice. So it's going to be practice, count versus non-count nouns, and that's it. So, and the first thing we will do to practice, all right, will be to uh, to work on an error correction exercise, all right? It will be to work on an error correction exercise. So I'm going to share the screen with you right now, all right? So just one second, we're here. So if you were not in class, because you have uh, problems or if you went to the hospital or if you have to work or if your connection was not uh, working. If something happened, the class is in the chat. You can find it there. There is also the uh, the chronogram for the one on one sessions. En el chat está la clase de ayer y también está eh, en las sesiones one on one, verdad? La fecha es cuando usted le, le, le corresponde. All right. And right now we will start with this exercise. All right, this one, you know, grammar error correction, count versus non count uh, words. So basically what you have to do is if the, the sentence is correct, sometimes you need to erase a, an, or that, or you need to add those words to make it correct. Prácticamente, si la oración puede estar correcta o incorrecta por la misma razón, ya sea que tenga estos artículos a, an, or da, estén de más o les haga falta. Keep in mind the following. All right. Keep in mind the following. I share with you the golden rules of non count nouns. Reglas de oro para los nombres contables. They can be plural. You can add the S. You can add a or an. Or you can add D in there. Eh, reglas de oro para los para los nombres contables solamente para recapitular un poquito pueden ser singulares o plurales a la gran mayoría solo se le agrega una s les compartí un, un, un cuadrito el día de ayer para que usted viera los más comunes eh, y en inglés los los, los, los las palabras contables son mayoría que los otros non come nouns is the opposite nunca pueden ser plurales never right you don't have to put an s for example, homework, you don't say homeworks, pero si dice homework assignments, all right? Usted no va a decir, I listen to a music. No, va a decir, I listen to music, okay? And I share with you some categories. Hasta le, le, les compartí categorías yesterday. So that's what I did, okay? So that's what I did. And the chart, the chart, sorry, the one I'm talking about is this one, all right? That's the one I shared with you. And I think it's also in the chat. Ese cuadrito también se lo compartí el día de ayer. Y creo que sí, sí, ahí está. I sent it to you at 9.52. All right? It's over there. If you check it out, let me put the camera. It's in there. All right? It, it's in there. But I, I, I know and I believe the, the best way to understand this is through practice. That's why. Let's get to practice right now. Vamos a practicar en estos instantes. Let's do this together, all right? Let's do this together as a class, all right? Grammar error correction, corrección de los errores que están ahí. Let's do number one, two, and three, four, and five together. So they have new car. There's something wrong over there. And of course, what the word is missing is ah, verdad? Ellos tienen 
un nuevo carro. All right, you need to include a in there. Number two, did she order coffee at the restaurant? All right, so did she order coffee at the restaurant? It's correct because uh, coffee doesn't take an an, ¿verdad? No se le puede agregar el a o el an a coffee because it's uncountable. Number three, I bought milk at the supermarket. Is that correct or incorrect? Correcto, sería por la misma razón del coffee, no? Exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> In English, most okay. words that refer to food or to beverages or liquid are uncountable, like mm -hmm. milk, coffee, um, soda, water. Okay, mm -hmm. so they are uncountable. Number four. Do you still use a phone that you bought? All right. Todavía utilizas el teléfono que compraste. Obviously, the word is missing the, el teléfono. We need to identify, you know, which cell phone I'm talking about in here. Number five. Oh, no, my cop just fell on the floor. My cop just fell on the floor all right is this correct or should we add something else in here it's on the some, floor on the correct i, I actually said it right <laughs> uh -huh. i actually said it i didn't realize that but i said it all right oops <laughs> yeah i was not supposed to give you the answer on that one nice yeah my cup just fell on the floor in most cases, my friends, you will know that something is missing. But usted va, su cerebro le va a decir algo falta acá, verdad? Something need, needs to be added or something needs to be erased or deleted. All right? Su cerebro le va a decir hay que borrar algo o hay que agregar algo por acá, verdad? Entonces, we will see. I'm going to share with you right now a PDF with most of the exercises even there. Um, Please complete them individually and then try to compare the answers with a classmate. Les mando un PDF, ¿verdad? Con los, con los, con los ítems restantes. Usted va a trabajar desde el número 6 hasta el 16. So from 6 to 16. You're going to complete individually and then in person, in a breaker room. Trabajamos de forma individual y luego en un breaker room vamos a ver las cuestiones, si tenemos buenas o malas las, uh, las correcciones. So let me just one second over here. Is there any questions right now for me or not? Hold on. Okay, no questions for me right now. All right, the uh, file is, is being sent to you right now. I'm sending the... Uh, the, the uh, activity right now to you. All right, I guess you got it. Okay. Ya la recibieron, está por ahí. Vamos a compartir pantalla para darles un poquito más de visibilidad. Welcome everyone. All right, I say hello. All right, I haven't, I haven't seen Mr. Tony, Ms. Vanessa, I mean there, Mr. Caesar right there. All right, so just one second. Okay, there we go. So this is the document that you should have already in front of you in your cell phone or your computer. And you're going to complete from exercise number six until 16. But for the next uh, two minutes, do number six, I mean, for number six until number 10 individually, right? Let's do, let's do this ones individually. Um, you might rewrite them in your notebook or you might work directly on the PDF. Usted puede, tiene dos opciones, si usted gusta. Copia, ¿verdad? Puño y letra. Esto en un cuaderno, ¿verdad? Y hace las correcciones agregando solamente la palabra que hace falta o, o reescribe absolutamente todo o lo hace en la computadora de una sola vez en el documento PDF. So it's up to you, all right? It's up to you. Individually, we complete from six to 10. Individual, uh, 
podríamos trabajar de las 6 a la 10. And then in pairs we will complete the rest and then share everything with, with uh, your classmates. Luego completamos de la 11 a la 16 en grupos, en las sesiones privadas. Eh, y luego compartimos desde la número 6 hasta la 16, ¿verdad? A ver cómo nos fue. Ok, as a group. We're going to do that. All right. Nice. Uh, I'm going to choose somebody in here just to help me read uh, what you have in there. All right. Vamos a elegir a la primer participante, or like I call them, is the victim in there. Um, let's see over here. All right. All right, so Ms. Uh, Ms. Flor de Maria Gomez, would you help us, please? All you have to do is just to read the, the sentences that I have highlighted. Don't give us the answer, please. No nos dé la respuesta, por favor, sino que solamente acompáñenos a leer esta triste historia. <laughs> ok, y number six. Ok. Yes. That was easy question. That was easy question, alright. Seven, please. I need time to finish my homework. Alright. I was I was born on the first day of June. Right. They gave us an information about the college. Okay. Did you have good time on your holiday? On your holiday. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So I guess you're working on this one. Uh, so if I were you, si yo fuera ustedes, copiara, verdad, de la siguiente forma, verdad, I would use the tools that I have with you. Remember the chart that I shared with you, uh, lastimosamente, there you go, there you see it, all right? This one, can you see that one? The one I'm sharing with my cell phone, yes. You can use this one as a reference and see if the word is uncountable. And if it's uncountable, you're not supposed to use a or an. You cannot make you singular, all right? Or you, you cannot put an, an S in there, all right? So that's the one. So one second. So right now I'm going to choose a couple of you to help me um, answer five, six, seven, eight, I'm sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Voy a elegir un par de participantes que me ayuden con la respuesta de esta, ¿verdad? And then I will send you to the breaker rooms to do the rest. Y luego los envío a los breaker rooms para que hagamos lo restante, por favor. Eh, I'm going to get the first five participants that I have in the list. Voy a, voy a elegir los cinco primero que tengo en la lista, ¿verdad? Ese es mi sorteo. Mr. Tony Cabrera, would you help me on number six, please? Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. Yeah, can, can you make the correction on number six, please? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Or, or is the, the statement correct for you? For me, it's correct. It's correct. All right. Yes. Okay. In this case, uh, just because uh, of the grammar, what is the noun? But cuál es el nombre que tenemos que identificar? Question. Correct. Vamos it's question. Decir, Correct. No. Now you need to think, Mr. Tony, and everybody else. Is is can I add an S to question? If the answer is yes, the word is countable. All right. Do you have questions? I said. All right. I have a question. You say. So in this case. What is the question like? ¿verdad? ¿Cómo es la pregunta? Is it difficult or is it easy question? But there's something missing in there. Mr. Tony? Take a look at the instructions, ¿verdad? Llévanos, ¿verdad? Por, por, por las instrucciones. ¿Qué dice? Find and correct 10 mistakes below. All right. Si tenemos 16 ítems, 
significa que seis son correctas, pero seis de estas oraciones van a ser correctas, ¿ok? Ok. Y luego dice, use, ¿qué tenemos que utilizar para corregirlas? A, eight. an, or da, or delete a word. Entonces usted agrega esas palabras o quita una de esas palabras. All right? Okay. So, si no tenemos el a o el an, que es lo que me, me, me define, ¿verdad? El sujeto o el nombre tendría que agregarle el a o an. All right? Okay. okay. And remember, my friends, if, if a word starts with, with a vowel sound like apple, I, you need to add an, ¿verdad? An apple, right? An I, okay? Just like that. So what would be the correction, Mr. Tony, después de este revoltijo? <laughs> <laughs> so what would be the correct one in there, sir? Okay. ¿Cuál sería lo correcto? ¿Qué, qué falta? What's missing in here? Um, sería that was easy equation. An easy. An easy. An easy question. Recuérdese que easy es un adjetivo, entonces tenemos que poner desde antes de este adjetivo calificador el A. An easy question. An easy question. Right? That was an easy question. Correct. Si yo, le, yo le pregunto, where does uh, President Biden uh, work? Right? ¿Dónde trabaja el presidente Biden? Asumamos que es en la Casa Blanca. How would you say that? He works at, dígame Casa Blanca, at la Casa Blanca. Uh, Ajá. Sería da. Da, correct. Ok. How do you say blanco? Repeat, please. How do you say blanco? How do you say? Excuse me? Blanco. Casa Blanca? White. Uh, White, correct. And White. then you say uh, casa? White. White House. Entonces, por eso se fija, ¿verdad? Si viven la Casa Blanca, ¿verdad? The White The House. The si White fuera, House. Fuera, si fuera una casa normal, ¿verdad? De mi vecino, yo diría, ah, uh, there's a White House. ¿Verdad? O en este caso es como es la pregunta, es difícil o es fácil, it's an easy question. Right? Si fuera lo, lo contrario, a difficult question. Right? Ok, and just like that. Entonces, esa es la estructura del inglés, over there, which we need to know or start understanding, ¿verdad? Thank you, sir. Number seven, all right, uh, de la misma lista, los primeros cinco estoy eligiendo. Miss Anayansi, would you help us on the next one, over there, please? Right? Seven. Mm, number uh, seven. Seven. Yes. I need try to finish my homework. Primero piense, is this correct? Or no. Mm. Piense, no está bonita. Si es así, mejor no toco nada. <laughs> no vaya a ser. <laughs> Gotta trust in yourself, ¿verdad? Tenemos que confiar, ¿verdad? Nuestro, en nuestro instinto y nuestra capacidad. So trust in your capacity, right? Your skill. Yo creo que que está bien así. I need try to finish my homework. My homework. Yeah, correct. Correct. Yes. You got it. ¿Verdad? No vamos a ponernos estrictos en dando tanta explicación, pero homework is uncomfortable. Never put an, et, an S after homework. Nunca vamos a decir homeworks. Tampoco vamos a decir a homework. Never. Vamos a decir some homework. Ok. Yo tengo tarea. I have some homework. Ok. Thank okay. you. Just mute your microphone, please. Number, number eight. Um, Miss Carmen eh, Hernandez, please. Eight. Number eight, I was born on first day of John. Is this correct or incorrect for you? That is incorrect. It's incorrect. Why? Yes, because uh, when you say when you say a uh, date, you say only John first or without that. So I was born on first day of John. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, you're right. But in this case, you are specifying. Uh, actually, this sentence is correct because you can say, okay. uh, Ms. Carmen, you can say, I was born on June the 1st. 1st, June okay. 1st. Or June the 1st. You can say actually the 1st, all right? Or June 1st. And then you say the year, like 19 something in there. Mm -hmm. or, or you can also say it in that way. So I was born on the 2nd of May, for example. You can say it that way. You can say that. Okay. Okay. For example, if I ask you, if I ask you, when is El Salvador's independence? The independence day is on September 15th. It's on September 15th or it's on the 15th. 15th. The 15th. 15th day of of September. If you if you want to specify the date of the month, you can use that. You can use that. this one. Yes. Okay. Correct. Correct. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. So uh, the next one over here, number nine, I guess. Mr. Caesar, please help us. Uh, yeah, nine, please. Thank you. Right, they got us um, information about the college. Mm -hmm. um, Ese es el nombre. Ahorita ya le identifique el nombre, ¿verdad? Eh, and information, ok. Ajá, uh, and information, pero ahí ya estamos usando la palabra and. Ok. They got... So, should I, should I delete it, sir? La debería de borrar. Sorry. Should I, should I uh, delete the uh, should I delete this? No, sir, teacher. All right. Should I leave it that way? Yes. Okay. Si revisamos y si revisamos en el cuadrito de que, que era azul que les compartí ayer. Busquemos esta información ahí en la palabra no contable. Mr. Cesar, can you do that, please, for me? Yeah, okay, ahorita, ahorita. Okay, please. Yes, it's in the abstract column. Correct, correct. Like information, time, things like that, right? Vamos, pero vamos a esperar que, que Mr. Cesar... Uh, it's supposed to be there. All right. Information is abstract. Uh -huh. Correct. Uh, well, the columna. Correct. And what comes after information? In ese cuadrito, ¿qué viene después de, de, de información? The information, Mr. Caesar. Solo para que todos captemos que estemos en esto. Uh, uh -huh. Permítame. Ahí está. What's the next este, one? Como que es el, el, el uh, círculo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero después de la de información, ¿cuál es la siguiente palabra? Solamente para que nos ubiquemos. What's the next word we have in the chart? With, with, wisdom. wisdom, wisdom, correct, wisdom, sabiduría, all right, wisdom, all right, so all of these abstract ideas like wisdom, time, love, affection, happiness, that's what I asked you yesterday, yo le preguntaba, verdad, eh, how can you measure happiness, como puede medir la, 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 la felicidad, all right, no, medible. Yeah. All right, so of course, of course, correct. So let's let's continue with the next one, brother, sir. Thank you, um, Miss. Uh, let's see who's next in here, Miss Karina Villeda. Please, would you help us with number ten? Recordemos okay. que estamos haciendo esto individual y luego de, de la a partir de la onceava hasta la dieciséis ava sería la última. Lo vamos a hacer en grupo. All right, or in purse. Go ahead, please, Miss Karina. Okay. Do you have good time on holiday? Okay. Um, I think uh, the correct form can be, do you have a good time on your holiday? Yeah, you're right, you, you're right. But in this case, I need to make a, 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 some clarification, all right? If you talk about time, like if I ask you, what time is it? like right now is 8.28 or 8.29, you don't put a, right? El tiempo en realidad no se le agrega el a, pero en este es el momento que usted pasó. 
In that case, yes, you can put an A. All right? La pasó bien, ¿verdad? En sus vacaciones. That's what we're asking over there. No estamos refiriéndonos a la hora precisa. Okay. All right. So that's okay. why you say, did you have a good time? ¿Verdad? Un buen tiempo, pero la cuestión de un momento, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, a eso nos estamos refiriendo. Pero tiempo en sí, eh, cuando se refiere a las horas, ¿verdad? Las 24 horas del día, eh, no se le va a agregar a time. All right. A time. When Usted, no, is an, sorry. Yes, when go is ahead. An specific time. A period of time we can we can't use a, the letter a correct if you if you're talking about the hour an hour of the day you don't you don't use a right never please okay. right. for example if you say what time is it right now you don't say uh i mean you don't put a now over there but we don't say that by the way no se va a confundir porque esta es la única sección cuando ocupamos en este, así de esa forma, la palabra time. Right? De hecho, time, así como así, en las cuestiones de comida es tomillo. All right? Time. I don't know why, but that's, that's the way it is. Okay? Time. In there. All right, so now let's go to uh, the breaker rooms. I'm going to send you right now, right there. But before we do that, now that I have the uh, whole class, I need to remind you of this. This is the uh, the one on one session, all right? Or these are the one on one sessions, my friends. Esto ya está en el chat, disponible para ustedes. Eh, anótelo, save the day. Uh, tonight I'm supposed to be with uh, working with Mr. Antonio Cabrera, and then tomorrow is Miss Claudia, and then Thursday Miss Zulma, which is over here. And then Friday is Mr. Francisco. And now next week, last date of, of uh, May, we start with Miss Susana, uh, Miss Evelyn, and Miss Sonia, and Miss Karina, and Mr. Edwin. Okay. Almost women power the, the next week, right? And, <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we continue, uh, you know, God's will, primero Dios, and Miss Karina, Nancy, Mr. Oscar, Miss Flor, Mr. Caesar. And then the last week. If you if you see here, if you notice, we start um, June 14th, the last week, la última semana, verdad? Al 14, vámonos al 14. Monday 14th, Tuesday 15th, then Wednesday. Uh, on Thursday, para bien o para mal, and there's a holiday, right? Father's Day. So no classes on Thursday, June 17th. But we have classes on Friday, the 18th. And that's why this, this module will finish on Monday the 21st. Entonces comenzamos un, un, el lunes ayer, ¿verdad? Eh, 24 y terminamos el 21 de junio por lo del Día del Padre. ¿Ok? Yo no estoy. Uh, let's see how many... Yeah, you're right. But uh, I'm going to see what happened in there. I'm going to get back to you later, Miss, Miss uh, Susana. Thank you. Right? Yes. So that being said, um, let me do the breaker rooms right now. Okay, one second. Okay. In the meantime, uh, while I'm doing the, the rooms, uh, I will share the screen, verdad, para que avancemos. So you can advance with the other one. So let's try to do from, from 11 to 16. En lo que estoy haciendo los grupos por acá, rápidamente. Let me just one second. Mm. All right, so rooms are open. Please go ahead and join them. Thank you.
<coughs> Hola, mi Zulma, ¿cómo le va? Bueno, creo que no me puede escuchar, mi Zulma, pero vamos a ver acá. Una página te va a Ok, ¿quién va a empezar? Es desde la... Eleven. Ah, no. Eleven. Okay. <risa> bueno, yo aquí lo tengo. Is there some sugar? Some, le agregué. Some yeah. sugar in my tea. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you can say that. You can say that. Correct. No hay problema. Yeah. Or is there sugar in my tea? That's okay. Um, the 12th, I think Canada is a big country. It mm -hmm. is correct. Yeah, that's sí, correct. Verdad. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Azúcar de cubitos, si se cuenta, si no, no. Is there, is there, sí, el azúcar es incontable, solo que por libras, por medias libras y así, ¿verdad? Ah, Entonces pues, pues, sí es contable el azúcar. Okay. Pero yo, ¿verdad? Que aquí nos tenemos que enfocar a qué le vamos a echar el azúcar, o sea. Al té. O sea, para determinar que sea azúcar morena o es de la chela. Porque el azúcar morena le va a endulzar más rápido. Menos dañina, dicen, ¿verdad? Dicen. Entonces, para no equivocarse en la vida real, lo que le agregamos a las palabras es som, S-O-M-E, y eso. Eh, a usted le evita que ocupe el a o el, o el an, ¿verdad? Si usted ah, dice, yo tengo tarea, va a decir, I have some homework, ¿verdad? Yo tengo uh, alguna, tarea. Ajá, alguna tarea o algo de tarea que hacer, ¿verdad? ¿Tienes azúcar? Do you have some sugar? Some. ¿Qué? Is there... Ah, is there some sugar in my tea or is there sugar, sugar in my tea? Mm -hmm. o, o lo deja solito, la palabra. O le agrega el som, si usted gusta. Eso es en la vida real. Ajá, Pero en este caso bien. solo estamos quitando el a o el an o se lo estamos agregando. En este caso, como es incontable, se lo quitamos. Uh -huh. Is there sugar in my tea? Is there sugar in my tea? Sugar in my tea. Okay. Le quitamos. Exactly. Entonces ponerlo a cabala, sí. La, la, the next one, number 12, is countable, porque ¿cuántos países hay? Como 190 y algo, 200, más o mm -hmm. menos son, ¿verdad? Países. Entonces, es decir, countries. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Countries. Canada. Esto está Canada. correcto, ¿verdad? It's correct, it's, because Canada is a big correct. country. Si usted ocupa el ejemplo del Salvador, va a decir, el Salvador es a, lo contrario, ¿verdad? Es a, mm -hmm. ¿cómo dice pequeño? Small. Small, correct. Small, a small country. country. A small country, mm -hmm. yes, you got it. Pero mire, teacher, bueno, tal vez yo me estoy confundiendo, pero cuando usamos la palabra little. Little, uh, sí, pero, pero little, little está, está diciendo como bien pequeñito, hechas a mm -hmm. little, pero little es para cuestiones como para personas, digamos, para, mm -hmm. para dimensiones de algo, va a ocupar a small, eh, para un objeto, o en este caso un país. Eh, y para personas va a decir short, pero alguien bajito, short. Ah. Para problemas va a decir que es it's a small problem, ¿verdad? O little problem, ¿verdad? Pero así pequeñito. Mm -hmm. para ok. Pero okay. small, ¿verdad? Para longitudes okay. o para dimensiones. I will. I will. Miss la hours. palabra en sí, time, no lleva la A, pero la palabra hour sí, porque usted dice, te voy a mirar en dos horas. Entre, ¿Cuánto dura la clase? ¿Cuánto dura la clase? Dos horas. Clase, Mr. Dos horas. Two, Two hours, hours. Two hours. Two hours. Correcto, Two hours. Two hours. Entonces, si le puede agregar S, es contable. Y se puede hacer singular. Se le puede agregar la A o la A o la AN. ¿Ok? Yes. That's why you have to ah, okay. 
Yo casi no le escucho porque está cayendo por la ciudad. Aquí en medio quiere llover, fíjese. Pues, Mr. Cicero, el punto es que si usted lo puede agregar una S y lo puede ser singular, la palabra es contable por naturaleza. Oh, ah, cabal. Ok. Ok, esa es la clave. Y a la, ajá, a las horas le podemos poner la S, entonces sería contable. Exacto, exacto. Oh, hello. hello, teacher. Ya vino, ya vino. No estaba Ahí muerto, andaba de parranda. Sí, pero ya, ya finalizamos. Finish already. Let's see, Obi. Yes. Vamos, vamos a calificar en la plana. Um, okay. Is there a shoe? Correct. The first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. 11 in Canada is a big country. We will meet him in an hour, right? An hour. Yes. An Where hour, can I buy so. furniture? Uh -huh. Furniture? Nothing? Da. Da. Uh, furniture? Yeah, yeah you can say. Da or nothing? Nothing. I think it's better because if you use da, you need to specify if it's a table, if it's a closet, um, okay. but if, or if it's a bed or a sofa, right? Okay, okay. 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 Uh, she always okay. carries Next. an umbrella, right? It's an umbrella. An umbrella with her. I just saw a bird. A bird. I just saw a bird. Correct. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Nice. Good. Thanks. We're gonna close the the breaker rooms right now. All right. Okay. See you in a minute, my friends. Okay. All right. 